Welcome my beautiful Geminis, Brenda here, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again today to bring you your general tarot reading uh, for the week of November the 8th to the 14th, 2021. Now I am running behind this week, I've had some issues to deal with personally and trying to get out your financial readings as well. So I went back to the way I used to do this reading uh, and used to do the layout, identical layout, only you're not watching me and I'm not taking up your time watching me shuffle the cards. Spirit guides my cards as I go through and I ask some past, present, future, beginning, middle, and end of week energy that they can give me. You do have the starting off with your energy card and your conclusion card here at the end. So with that, Without further ado, let's see what your reading's about. So coming in behind you could be possibly the beginning of your week, past tense energy maybe for others. You have the Nine of Pentacles, you have the Page of Pentacles, and you have the Five of Swords. So I do think that you, you know, you could be conflicted with the situation here this week. Don't get involved in other people's battles or drama, and don't get into battles that are a no-win situation. Um, sometimes, you know, you can win the battle and lose the war, and are the risks... Uh, worth you taking okay so think about that what are your risks if you get involved in this sort of uh this cause okay uh this movement this this uh this situation that could be a debate or a battle for you so keep your eyes open this week to step back and think about something before you jump in with both feet because i know gemini's you you constantly want to be an advocate and you take care of the underdog and you like to get out there and you jump in but later on you might find that it you know you you know you could have you know um uh, bit your nose off right um or you know don't don't do that okay don't shoot your foot off because you're not thinking about something so just be careful here gemini you don't do this this week but you know if you're worried and, and concerned about money i think you're getting close to getting what you want there's an offer coming in here this is always good news when the page of pentacles comes in it's the beginning of something coming in that you're going to hear about that has to do with good news to do with money and often it could be you know maybe a, something as simple as you're stepping up you're going to take a new course of study you're going to add to your resume so that you're making more money or you're changing things up so that you can do this uh, the page of pentacles is always information coming in that's exciting that will make you feel better about money and that is going to allow you to step up and and walk in your garden of abundance i always call the nine of pentacles doing that the ten wow happiness right fulfillment security you're you're almost there but i think you know you're setting yourself up here and um i think you're going to have opportunities opening up like i always say you walk in that orchard remember the orchard's full of many different trees you can pick from all of them not just one so don't put your eggs all in one basket this week think about offers and opportunities that are going to benefit you what's going to help make you this uh more money what's going to help you bring this happiness in okay so you could be actively working on something here this week that's going to help you uh in the financial part of your life so beautiful card when the page shows up it's always good news about finances now, coming in in the center of the week, which the energy you could be feeling now, Jim, is you've got the Seven of Swords, the Seven of Cups is your crossing energy, and you've got the Six of Cups. So let's go right in with the crossing energy because it comes across the good news about money from the page, the beginning of that, the baby steps moving towards that, and also the Knight of Pentacles, planning your move and taking your time. So that makes perfect sense here. Maybe you're getting opportunities that are, that are presenting themselves that is causing you confusion here to make a decision and a choice what do I do where do I go think about long-term benefits here what's going to benefit you in the long term okay long-term investment not short uh, short um, you know everything uh, that glows and glitters isn't always gold so I think once you see the picture and clarity and you think about what is going to benefit me to my greater good and I think a lot of you are working on your finances and money part of your life plan it take your time plan plan your move don't jump in as I had said don't go jumping into something here a no-win situation Okay, so crossing over here with that Knight of Pentacles, he takes his time. He makes a decision. So I think if you think about long-term benefits, you will be able to make this decision. And you know what? You, it, sometimes you get confused and you might be overwhelmed with everything that's happening around you right now. Now, the very first card is, and you know, it's interesting it came in here after the Five of Swords. You get the Seven of Swords and that is, you know... Um, this is a card of deception. Um, be careful. Um, make sure that you're doing everything above board and you don't have to look over your shoulder with hindsight later on and say, oh crap, I didn't know that had a copyright or geez, I didn't read that line there in the fine print, whatever. Uh, but often it can have to do with somebody else. Uh, you know, some people call this a liar, cheater, um, you know, um, steal, a thief. 
card. Uh, somebody could be sneaking around behind your back. They could be scoping you out from the shadows. Um, and you need to keep your eyes open for that. If some of you are dealing with a legal situation, um, make sure that you keep things privy and private that shouldn't be open to everybody's ears. Okay, I always say keep things under lock and key, and that includes information within yourself. This person will eventually get caught. Um, this is about, you know, I mean, look at the crow. He's got his mouth wide open. He's screaming out, hey, look what's going on. Open your eyes. So, you know, what and the moon shining down on this individual he's going to get caught okay so i think the truth is going to come out something's going to happen here and this person will you know you'll be able to realize that you know you can't do anything anymore it's a no-win situation if you're dealing with this type of a, of, of a, of a of opposing energy somebody around you now, the, you know, you could be connecting with somebody from a great distance. You could be hooking up. You might be on social media, reconnecting with a colleague, uh, somebody you grew up with when you were a kid, um, or someone that is going to be a, a beneficial energy around you that can open doors and contacts for you. That's what my guides are telling me. Um, I think they're very loyal. I think maybe you could have been distanced from someone. Life might have got in the way. You went, They went their way. You went your way. And now maybe you're reconnecting. Um, I never look at this as your ex-husband or your ex-boyfriend is coming back to you. I mean, there's a reason why they are. Unless physically, um, you know, during lockdown, you were separated and you're finally reconnecting. For some of you, it could be that. For others, I think you could just be reflecting and you could be losing yourself in the imaginary world of your past, thinking about your childhood and things uh, and memories of that. I mean, we just got through a very thin veil. We just got through a full moon. We just, you know, the phases are changing now, retrograde and all of that has shifted again. And, you know, and Halloween, Halloween, the thinnest veil of all. So you could have been very nostalgic thinking of those in the past or those that have passed on. Um, others you could be uh, communicating and dealing with children there could be something to do with a child here where you're going to want to tap into your own inner child and have fun beautiful you could be dealing uh, you could be um, somebody from the past or dealing with somebody from a great distance here okay interesting now coming in towards you the end of the week possibly you have the two of swords you have the knight of pentacles and you have the five of wands so again you know, you might have felt confused here. You couldn't make a choice or a decision about something um, because, you know, this is showing up here. I think this week is going to be about confusion and making a choice about something uh, that's coming in towards you. But your ultimate goal here is about getting what you can get here as far as security with your finances and your and security within your job or your business, whatever, you know, it is that you're trying to achieve. Um, I do think that you will be able to make the decisions and choices once you see the picture in complete clarity. Okay, if you're dealing with opposing energy here, make sure that you have someone here, a mediator that's laying the cards on the table for you so that you can clearly and safely make a decision here. Um, this is a card that says don't think that you can walk away from a problem that it isn't going to it's going to just miraculously end. No, you got to face it. Face your fears. Go for it here. I do think that you will be able to make a decision. And often this is about uh, compromise. You may not get 100 percent of what you want, but you're going to be happy with it. Now, your final card here, oh, pardon me, we'll go on to the Knight of Pentacles. Again, I talked about this knight. He's slowest moving knight on the, on the uh, you know, on the Zodiac. Uh, he makes a calculated and careful, precise plan. He doesn't go charging in and then set himself up for a fall or make a mistake or have to go, oh, crumbs, I got to do plan B now. What's plan B going to be? Um, I think that you're going to have to just be careful this week and make detailed plans. Make out lists. Write them down. Check them off as you go along. Take down all the information you can that's going to benefit you later on down the road when it comes to being accurate. Uh, but he doesn't fail. You know, he goes into battle because he plans a, a plan here and he makes it out and then he's able to take his time. Now, some of you could be planning something here for your finances and your career. It is a Pentacles card here, which often has to do with money. Um, but be careful. Be precise what you're doing. Okay, now at the end of the read here, you did get the five of wands and the five of wands is all about feeling as though you have to constantly compete with yourself, promote yourself, defend yourself or with others. Pick your battles wisely. Um, you know, somebody could be poking you with a stick, antagonizing you and provoking you to get into this feeling. Um, I think, you know, there's healthy competition and then you have to realize that if you get involved in too much, it's going to stress you out. So again, I can't stress enough that, you know, don't get involved in no-win situations this week. Um, somebody here who is not coming in with complete integrity, they're going to get caught at the end of the day. So I wouldn't worry too much. I think that, you know, you, you could be reconnecting with somebody here that's going to set up 
uh, you know, contacts or something for you to collectively get together with each other and collaborate. So, you know, it's great to have some competition. It keeps us awake, right? Um, but on the other hand, you don't want to be uh, pushed constantly to this stress level. Okay, let's see what we have here for, and pardon the shadow here, my, the sun came out through my window here. So let me just get up and close my curtain which will clear these cards better. There we go. Thank you. So here we go. We have the man coming in with your all over energy. And this could be you or someone else uh, stepping up into your power of truth, stepping up in and, you know, being an open book. Uh, if it's you, I think you're full of honesty anyway, Gemini's. Um, you, you, you're honest to a fault. Uh, but that's wonderful. I think you might be, uh, you know, letting the world know what you have to offer. And when people come to you, uh, you know, Q&A, uh, they come to you for information. You are upfront and honest. And I love that about my Geminis. Now, this could be somebody coming in towards you. Uh, it could be a male figure that you're leaning up against. Someone who's always been there for you. They were honest. They were an open book. Um, lucky are you to have this person around you. They could be advocating, promoting you and helping you with a situation. Trust their word because they tend to be very honest honest now your your final card here is surrender to defensiveness so what do you have you know there could be again i said don't get caught up in um you know unnecessary battles here uh you know that you're going to lose defensiveness is a sign of weakness to communicate in a more empowered way stay centered and hear someone out then offer a clear non-defensive response so you could be working again you could be dealing with someone here that they might be explaining their actions that they might have done something that didn't have integrity and they weren't completely honest with you um you may want to listen to them you may want to you know and step back and um, not get defensive, not jump in, uh, you know, right away. It, you know, you're usually very good listeners, um, Gemini. So uh, this week I'm trying to say here, don't get involved in other people's drama. Walk away from that. Uh, don't get caught up in that, okay, this week. Um, and don't get defensive about it. Just take it from where it comes, okay? There's a reason why everybody behaves the way they do. All right, let's clarify this reading, my beautiful Geminis. Let's see what we have here. Spirit, what do they need to know, see, expect, past, present, and possible future energy, beginning of the week, middle of the week, and possibly the end of the week? So let's see what we've got here, Geminis. So I think it's a good week for you here. I think you know there's going to be offers and opportunities here, and decisions and choices you have to make. But I think you're getting close. You're hearing good news about money here. But there could be a compromise involved. You might not be getting what you thought you would, but I think you're going to you're going to be okay with that. I mean, this is happiness here, walking in your garden of prosperity. Okay, so coming in with that week, you have the tower. And the tower says you're making changes. You're moving on. You Something could have suddenly happened that made you make a decision to do this. Uh, you know, whether you're leaving a situation, a relationship, a phase in your life, starting something new, but you are rebuilding a stronger foundation. So, uh, you know, it lands here at the beginning of the week. It could be the foundation in money. Uh, you know, you might be able now to move forward and have those resources to uh, create the happiness and, you know, the life that you desire. But it's always about not getting caught. And it's always about you saying, <clears throat> you know, I know it depicts two people flying out of a building and, oh, my gosh, it's burning down. But something might have been on uneven ground. It might not have been on. It might not have had a secure foundation right from the get go. And you realize now that it's time for you to make the changes to rebuild something on firm ground and uh, and have stability. And I love that card for that reason. Now coming in in the center of the week, look what you got with the Seven of Swords and the Seven of Cups and the Six of Cups. So d uh, definitely, not the Seven rather, this is the Four of Wands. Um, <clears throat> definitely there's going to be reason to celebrate something. And I'm hoping that, you know, it will have to do with news coming in about finances for you. For others, you might be happy about connecting with somebody and, and having that communication and connecting with somebody that you've been wanting to be around or see. But I do think that you're going to have reason to celebrate. For some of you, you know, it could be an occasion, a wedding, a, uh, you know, uh, getting together and celebrating with community and family and friends over something. It could be something that you've accomplished that you, you're getting out there and you can go, ah, oh, finally, let's go out and have dinner and celebrate something here. So uh, it, this is a beautiful card of things turning around for you and you being happier. Coming in at the end of the week, you've got temperance, uh, you know, with the two of swords. And I'm not surprised because it shows up here and the knight of pentacles here as well. And that's slow moving action. That's doing things in moderation. That's not overindulging, overthinking, over worrying, over obsessing, and definitely not jumping into situations without thinking and planning them out. 
uh, you know, completely. So temperance says, be patient. You could be waiting for something. We say this all the time for my Geminis. They're waiting for something to come in for that celebration, for that money, for that settlement, for whatever the case is. And they keep saying, I am being as patient as I can be. Well, you know what? I think you're getting close you're going to hear something coming in here because there's good news here coming in. The messenger comes in. It's just taking time. Well, I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful positive outlook for next week. And let's all continue to play safe, stay safe, and be safe. And I'll see you soon.